Today I am doing a look for you. Now this is the classic bombshell look, but with a hint of glow. We have got violet and gold together. I think the look came out really beautiful. So if you want to find out how to get this look, just keep watching. Hey everybody, how are my glow tarts doing today? I hope everybody's well. And for those of you that are new, my name is Mandy. Welcome to the video. Alright guys, so today I decided to do a look. I haven't done a look, a tutorial in quite some time. Well, I've done tutorials, but I haven't done a look in a while. So I figured I would do one because I've got some new stuff that I wanted to try out. And another thing, I will be having a haul or a try on haul. I'm not exactly sure exactly what the video is going to be, but if it is out before this one, I will link it up here. And if it's not out before this one, there's absolutely nothing up there. But anyways, so I decided to do this look. Now this is a violet and gold, and I've got that deep plum dark purple on the outer V. So guys, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. All right, everybody, if you're ready for the look, I am. I'm going to start off with my makeup revolution. This is my cream, um, well, I'm already losing it, guys. This is my cream concealer kit, and I am using the banana shade in that. Just to prime my eyes, I usually just use a concealer instead of an eyelid primer. Every once in a while, I will, but most of the time, I'm going in this palette and grabbing a concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in, and I'm going to dust a little bit of powder on top of that just so it makes the colors that I put on top of my eyes blend so much better. This is the Blink and Boxy Charm palette. I absolutely love this palette. And I'm taking that icy cream color, that's the lightest shade in this palette, and I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone. I just love this palette. Every color is a shimmer, but oh my gosh, the pigmentation on that palette. Now, this is the Tarte Tartlet palette, and this is the shade Natural Beauty, and it does have that pinky undertone. And since I'm going to be working with the violets and purples, I wanted to use this for a transition shade, and I just wanted to concentrate most of it in my crease. I didn't really want to blow it out that much. I am going to be doing the classic bombshell look, so I do sweep it out on the ends, but I do mainly keep it near the crease. And this is the shade Best Friend in that Tartlet palette. And I'm going to put this as my crease shade. This, again, has got the pinky and the violet or the purple undertones to it. And I just love this color. Now, when you're looking in this palette, they don't look that pigmented. But man, oh man, I'm telling you, when you get them on your eyes, I mean, it just pops. They are actually very, very pigmented. I love this palette, and I'm using it every single day, whether it be the cream shades or the other shades. Now, this is the Wet n' Wild All Natural Palette. I think this one is called the Bare Necessities. If, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me down there. I might be wrong. But I wanted to use that deep plum color for the outer V, and that's where I'm going to focus this color is going to be the outer V. And then when I get most of the color laid down on the outer V, then I'm going to sweep back across all the way to the inner corner. But most of it, I'm going to focus on the, the outer V. If I say outer V one more time, guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, now back in the cream concealer kit, that is the Makeup Revolution, and I'm going to take that same banana shade and cut out half of my lid. So this is going to be like a half cut crease. I, I, I always put all kinds of styles together when I'm doing an eye look. So this is going to be the classic bombshell look with a half cut crease. There's just so many things. I, I like to put styles together just to see how they come out. And like I said, we are only cutting out half of our lid. And usually when I do this, I will take my finger at the end. You will see here in a minute and I will kind of dab over where the concealer is meeting that dark shade on the outer V. There I went again, guys. I'm sorry just to make it look a little bit more blended. Now I'm taking this gold shade in the blank palette. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm, I just cannot speak highly enough about this palette, how pigmented it is. And I'm gonna take that, I took that gold and I put on the middle of the lid. Now on the inner corner and halfway, well, to the gold shade at least, is where I 
check this pencil it's the LA colors this is their metallic eye pencil and it's in shade Cosmo and I did not like it guys it didn't do anything and I tried it with a brush I tried just putting it on I tried my finger just didn't work so I use this blush this is yes this is actually a blush and it is poor souls it is by glamour doll eyes and I put over top of that just to give it some more pigmentation but no guys I did not like that pencil I hate to say it and all I'm doing here is just darkening out that outer V with the same deep plum shade I just wanted to deepen the color just a little bit more and then what I will do is I will take some of that shade and put on the side of the brush and just kind of tap and dab over where the dark shade meets the gold color right there and it just gives it a more blended look and I, like I said I just tap it on there and this is where I just blend all the shades together except for on the lid all the other shades like the crease the transition and all that I use that pencil again to give it another go I used it on my lower lash line and I am taking the shade natural beauty in the tartlet palette and putting over top of that and I did bring it down kind of low because I wanted a, a little bit more dramatic look and again with this icy cream shade in the blink palette is what I use to highlight my inner corners and again I mean I just cannot talk good enough about this palette I absolutely love it and now by the power or the magic of editing we have got our other eye done and this is my Ciate London black eyeliner pencil this pencil I'm always grabbing for I will have to be getting another one soon because it is getting shorter and shorter and shorter every time I use it and I am tight lining my upper lid or my upper lash line and I did not do a winged look with this I just didn't think it needed it now this is a wet and wild um, eyeliner pencil and I use I have another one that I use for a lip liner I just love the shade it's actually I think it's called burgundy but I'm going to use that for my low to tight line my lower lash line and then of course you know we got to curl those lashes we have got to get them babies out there and this is I cannot believe I almost forgot the name of this mascara it is the benefit their real mascara this I, I absolutely love this mascara you do not need falsies with this and I just used one layer for this look and I think it come out beautiful now when I went on the lower lash line it does kind of give you those spider legs so you might need to go over it a couple of times or even use a clean spoolie brush to go back over it to get those out and this is the finish well no this is the finished look and of course we got the magic hair flip in slow-mo guys I had to put that in there I was just messing with you and this is the finished look I think it come out beautiful now again that pencil I didn't really like so I did have to go over it with something else but it still come out good so I'm not gonna complain and I hope you guys enjoy this look love you And that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the look. And like I said, I try to do looks that are easy enough for beginners to do. I hope it was. So if you enjoyed the video, if you like the look, hell, if you like me in general, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe to my channel and become part of my Glow Tart family. We would love to have you. And I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you next video. Bye, guys.